Hello there everybody and welcome back to the fourth and last video in the Peace of the Month series where we've been considering Bach's fugue in C minor from his Poems and Fugues book one. Now if you've been following the video series through so far we've looked at the historical background to Bach's composition of this, we've also considered a little bit about the analysis and looked very broadly at the structure and the way that a, a, a fugue is actually made up out of subjects and answers. And then in the last video, we did a bit of musicianship and we considered the subject itself, looking at things like the rhythmic features, the rhythmic motifs, and how the semitone really, that little idea, is, is a really important one. So in this final short video, we're going to be considering style and interpretation how we can make the fugue come to life and I think the work that we've been doing last week on the character on the, the the makeup of the fugue really leads us to working out the character and becoming familiar with it. Bach writes fugue subjects that are full of character he has got something in mind he doesn't write a boring fugue subject and we have to learn how we want to play this. So here's some different ways, just off the top of my head. All legato, quite steady in tempo. And another way. All detached, anyhow, um, and quite fast, quite quite speedy. Here's the third way. Now that is the way that I have chosen to play this particular fugue subject at the moment. I have to say my ideas on this do change sometimes and I can end up playing on a day very differently. It depends on how I feel. And as long as I'm within stylistic conventions, I don't really have a problem with that. So let's just think about those three different ways. Uh, the first way, okay, so this one was all legato. Absolutely all legato. any particular sense of shape or direction and probably didn't engage you quite so much orally I don't think. The second one, well that was very bright and breezy wasn't it? It was all detached and um, quite lively, quite, quite a lot of things going for this one I feel. Yeah, well, what I'm not doing very well I don't think is I'm, I'm tending to accent here the semiquaver. But maybe I could work with that. Maybe that, that might be something to develop. So nothing against that one. However, for me, the character of this piece, and when I say character, I do actually mean a character. You know, what words do I think of? I think of this character as being quite perky, actually, quite confident. Um, definitely walking, definitely moving along in quite a, a brisk way, not running, but nevertheless, as I say, um, walking with purpose, let's say. Um, and that probably helps me to form how I want to play that. And I have a, I have, I'm trying to have a picture of that character in my head. They're definitely wearing, they're not wearing a pink jacket, they're wearing sort of a check quite a nice check smart jacket that is a little bit hmm. As soon 
and changes. I think you heard it there. I certainly did. It felt different. So thinking about the character, literally of the character that you're playing in the piece, can really be a, a key that will open up both, both for you and your students who might be learning a fugue, um, how to play it. Um, another way of thinking about this, if you like, is, is to put some words to it, you know. Maybe this is a little bit on the gossipy side. You, know, you keep getting this. So, um, I don't know. Do you like my coat? Do you like my hat? Do you like my three scarf and my neck? <laughs> Four silly example, yeah? But let me just try it out again. Do you like my coat? Do you like my hat? Do you like my silly scarf? in there because what you don't want to hear in a fugue is everything just going along exactly the same. It's got to have light and shade, it's got to have um, colour, it's got to have contrasts and that contrast comes not so much through the dynamics of course but through the articulation and I think that's what I want to leave you with. Think about how to articulate the character of your fugue. If you can find that key you will unlock the fugue and it will come to life for you. So to, find, to finish with, here is a performance all the way through, for better or for worse. <laughs>